Time to reveal the Western Conference All-Star starters, and we'll start with Kobe Bryant. For the third time, he's the leading vote-getter overall, making his 15th straight appearance all as a starter, averaging 30 points a game, which is number one in the NBA, and shooting a career-high 48% has 21 games of at least 30 points this season for the Lakers. He is joined in the backcourt by another L.A. player. This is the Clippers' Chris Paul, the all-time leader in all-star assists per game with 11.8, making his sixth straight appearance and his fourth start. His assist-to-turnover ratio, 4.5 to 1, which is second in the league to Jose Calderon. Along the front line, you got Kevin Durant, Averaging 29 points a game and shooting 53% is career high. He is on pace, guys, to be just the second player, Larry Bird, the other one, to average 28 points, shoot 50%, shoot 90% from the line and 40% from long distance. Dwight Howard is an all-star for the seventh straight time in his sixth straight start, averaging 18 points, which is number 18. He's first in rebounds with 13, third in field goal percentage, and fifth in blocks and 12 games of at least 15 rebounds and three of at least 20, including 26 against Denver this year. And Blake Griffin joins him as an all-star starter. His third straight appearance and second start, giving the Clippers 18 points, eight rebounds, shooting 53%. The Clippers with the second best record in the Western Conference at 30 and nine. And so Blake Griffin joining Kevin Durant and Dwight Howard along the front line. There are your starters for the Western Conference in the All-Star Game in Houston. When you look at the vote totals, nobody had more than Bryant with 1,591,437 in the race in the uh, in the backcourt. Jeremy Lin finishing 45,000 behind Chris Paul for that starting spot. And on the Glad front line, 45,000 votes. Uh, Durant, Howard, and Blake Griffin. <laughs> And uh, Tim Duncan, a distant fourth, followed by Pau Gasol and Kevin Love.